In our changing world, many are searching for the technology that will power the cars of the future. You have companies like Tesla and Rimac working on batteries, and then there's the other side where we have Toyota, Yamaha and even BMW working on hydrogen. Well Mercedes just showed what they believe is the future, after announcing that it plans to give up on the combustion engine by the end of the decade, Mercedes revealed that it bought Yasa Limited. What is Yasa Limited? Well, they are a company that designs some really awesome electric motors, some of which can be found in the SF90 Ferrari and even the Koenigsegg Regera. But what makes them different from all the other companies out there that produce electric motors? Well, the electric car industry relies on radial electric motors, which are based on the legacy technology that's more than 50 years old. Now according to Yasa, their motor is 4 times more powerful than the technology used by all the other manufacturers. You see, the radial electric motors weigh about double as much, as well as being much larger. So they take up more space in the car. And they are heavier. This means that these new motors work great in almost any application. Now on top of the fact that it makes more power than your conventional radial motor, it's also much more efficient. Yasa claims that their engines gives OEM customers a 5 to 10% range advantage against their competitors. Now because the engines are more efficient, they can use smaller batteries. That coupled with the already lighter axial motor means that you can lower the weight of the car by a significant amount. Lightness is really important for both performance and range. Now all of this is great in theory, but is this a legit engine or is this just one of those amazing concepts that never come into fruition? Well, as I said previously, they have sourced engines for Ferrari and Koenigsegg, so the engines are legit and they have two different ones that is already available for customers, the 750 and the P400. So let's start with the smaller one of the two, the P400. Now the P400 only weighs 24 kilograms, which is practically nothing. Now as you can imagine, it's really small, with a diameter of only 305 millimeters, so pretty much 30 centimeters. How much power does this super small engine produce? Well its peak power output is 215 horsepower, with a peak torque rating of 370 newton meters. So it makes more power than your average internal combustion engine. And remember, you can use this thing with an internal combustion engine. I mean imagine, Mercedes has a 360 horsepower 2 liter turbo engine. Combine that with two of these and you have almost 800 horsepower with no range anxiety and the amazing sound of a 2 liter turbocharged engine. Or you can go all electric, have four of these, you'll make the same amount of power without burning any gas. Now for the big boy, the Yasa 750. Now the 750 is about 7 centimeters larger in diameter and it also weighs 13 kilograms more. But for that small sacrifice in weight and size, you get a motor that produces a peak torque figure of 790 newton meters of torque and a peak power figure of 270 horsepower per motor. That's stupid amounts of torque. Anyways, if you follow my channel for a while, you know that I think that hydrogen combined with carbon neutral fuels is a more likely future than going fully electric. Now that doesn't mean that I am completely against electric technology. I feel that if we combine the two, we'll have the best of both worlds. If we can develop a car that can use hydrogen as its main fuel source and have electric motors like these running in the car, it would be great. And for petrol heads like me, build a hydrogen powered internal combustion engine car like Toyota are doing, add two of these and you'll have a great sounding 4 wheel drive little monster that is, that is eco friendly and makes cool turbo swish noises. But let me know down below what you think of this engine, do you think it is as cool as I do? I mean that's a whole lot of power packed in a really small package and it can be used in just about any application. But yeah, let me know what you think of this engine, let me know if you agree with my views on the future, and yeah, if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you like anything car or engine related, this is the place to be, so subscribe, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?